Greetings viewers, Adventure Link here. Well, this is a channel for me, Adventure Link, so who'd you expect? And I'm the Ninja Turtles? Yeah. <laughs> well, with that being said, um, today I got another remote. Bought it off of Amazon.com, so because of that, today I'm going to do a follow-up video on my programming the remotes on your 2004 Grand Marquis GS. Now, if you're new to my follow-up videos, what I attempt to cover in these is, number one, if I've left anything out intentionally or otherwise, I will do my best to include it in this time. Um, number two, if I have muttered any misinformation, I will do my best to clarify what I mean and or correct it. Number three, um... Oh yeah, if I've found a way to make a tip go any better or more efficient, I will correct, I will show you guys how to do that too. And last but not least, number four, if there's anything in the annotations, I will do my best to go over those as well. And in this regard, I know that you guys that's view, that may be viewing me on, on uh, mobile YouTube, like all you phone or tablet users or those that are on dedicated internet appliances, may or may not be able to see my my annotations because it doesn't support it. It only works on PCs or Macs. So with that being said, I'm going to start by going over the remotes. And in this regard, I don't know if you can see it very well. But see where it says the FCC ID? It says CWTWB1U313. This number is important, when, especially when you're trying to order a new remote from like say an OEM resource, Amazon.com, a pick and pull junkyard, or whatever, because this FCC ID is one that will work for your car. And the neat thing about this is that say if, you're, say if this FCC ID matches the one off, off of an F-150, you could actually go to the junkyard, ask them for an F-150 remote, make sure that the FCC ID matches, and then go home and program it to your car, and it should work. Also, when I mentioned um, f that the instructions worked on 2000 Panthers, Prompte, Grand Marquis, and Town Car, well, I kind of made some misinformation there because actually it works on, it actually goes as back as far as 1999. So if you have a 1999 Panther, feel free to go ahead and use the instructions I made in the other video. 98, of course, is dealer only. Anything on or before 97 is some kind of archaic cryptic stuff where you had to jimmy rig a few steps, use the keypad, etc. So if you have any, so if you want to do a video on that for me, put in the video responses of either this video or the original programming, the remote video, or if you want to donate the car to me long enough to go over the steps, or even for keeps, and you live around me, go for it. I love these kind of cars, by the way. Number two, I also mentioned that um, the programming instructions for the Marauder 2005 to 2011 Grand Marquis and 2004 to 2011 Town Cars are different. Well, Marauders actually program the same way as this Grand Marquis. You know, where you put the key in the hole and then you go from off to run <clears throat> and back again four times in three seconds. With the fourth time, of course, landing on run. And for the 2005 up Grand Marquis and 2004 and up town car, it's actually put the key in the hole, go off, run, off again, over and over and over, eight times in ten seconds for it to work right. So with that being said, the tools to program it haven't changed that much, you know. You'll need remotes. Which today I'm going to show you how to program a second remote. In addition, you will need the official key that came with your vehicle. And in this regard, you need the one that comes from the dealer that's meant for your vehicle. Not a carbon copy like from Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, Kmart, or whatever. So with that being said, we're going to start to program the remotes now. Now, just so you know, I already did the instruction in the other video, so I'm just going to go and um, quietly go through each step.
Okay, obviously it did want to it did want to work, so let's try this again. Now, as you all know, you have 20 seconds from when you hear the door lock cycle to confirm programming mode to program your remote. So, with that being said, here goes number one. And number two. Now, if you have three and four, you program it the same way as you did one and two. Take the key out of the hole and then test your remotes. And as you can see, they're both working fine. So, I believe this is it. This was my programming the remotes on the 2004 Grand Marquis GS and other Panthers follow-up video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, etc. about this video, hit me up in the comments section. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, etc. about the Ford Panther platform as a whole, which covers the Crown Vic, Grand Marquis, Town Car, and the Marauder, then hit up crownvic.net forums. Or if you need an immediate response and you have a Facebook account, hit up crownvic.net on Facebook group, search for it, subscribe, and then post your questions. And the awesome folks at either medium will be glad to answer your questions in a timely manner. If you want to see more videos from me, be it rants, stances, repair videos, quick tips, vlogs, and as of late reviews, hit the subscribe button at the top of my video or any other video that I have. It's not hard. You'll be automatically subscribed to me. Any new videos I make will show up in your news feed. And of course, you all can go over my old videos as well. This has been Adventure Link. And who are you expecting again? The Ninja Turtles? <laughs> But yeah, I'm closing this out as always by quoting Eric the Car Guy. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. See you all next time.